Unveiled at the 2014 Farnborough Air Show, the A330neo made headlines when it promised 14% better fuel efficiency per seat. It was a new version with modern engines, similar to those developed for the Boeing 787 at the time, and operators of its predecessor, the A330 CEO, had been clamoring for it. And 10 years later, the aircraft is still on Airbus's order books as usual. So what makes it so popular? What is its operational potential? Let's find out. But before we start, if you're new, please help us improve this channel even further by double checking that you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our updates. Now let's dive in. Airbus is now planning to ramp up production of the A330neo due to the strong demand for the Twin Isle jet. Airbus Executive Vice President International Wouter van Wersch told the media, The A330neo is a great success. We're even ramping up the production of it, and you'll see it yourself as soon as it arrives in Malaysia. It's an amazing aircraft, and it's very successful. Malaysia Airlines has ordered 20 A330neo aircraft to gradually replace its 21 200 and 300 variants currently in use. The first orders are expected to begin deliveries between the third quarter of 2024 and 2028. The airline has also unveiled new business class and economy class seats for its A330neo as part of its fleet modernization plan, ahead of the scheduled delivery of the first aircraft. The new cabin will introduce many exciting features for the airline, in line with its traditional fleet offerings. Among these is the debut of the Collins Aerospace Elevation Business Class seat, featuring a full suite cabin with private doors, as well as wireless charging available at all 28 business class seats. This airline will become the world's first to equip elevation seats on an A330 aircraft, further solidifying its position as a leader in passenger experience and innovation in the industry. Meanwhile, the award-winning Recaro CL 3810 economy class seat boasts ergonomic design and enhanced support. Along with thoughtful amenities such as coat hooks, cup holders, the seat covers throughout the cabin will feature the airline's signature Songket pattern, an effort to honor Malaysia's cultural heritage by seamlessly blending tradition with contemporary style. The A330neo aircraft will have a total of 297 seats, including 28 business class seats and 269 economy class seats, of which 24 will have additional legroom. Dato Captain Ijim Ismail, Chief Executive Officer of Malaysia Aviation Group, said that Malaysia Airlines has had a roller coaster ride over the past decade, but throughout it all, the airline's resilience has remained strong. It has stabilized its balance sheet and recorded its strongest ever financial performance in the last decade. It is now in a stronger position to focus on investing in its product and service offerings to enhance the customer experience. With the unveiling of the new cabin seats on our new A330neo, this sets the benchmark of exciting things to come as we redefine what it means to travel on board Malaysian hospitality. These milestones not only set a new standard in the airline's transformation journey, but also promise a future filled with unparalleled experiences beyond the confines of the aircraft. As we move forward, our focus remains unwavering on delivering excellence and fostering continued growth ensuring that every aspect of our service exceeds expectations and leaves a lasting impression for our valued passengers. Malaysia Airlines has a strong presence in Asia, Oceania, and the Middle East, and the addition of the A330neo to its fleet will further strengthen its position in these markets. The advanced technology and increased efficiency of the aircraft will allow the airline to offer more direct flights, reducing transit times and improving overall travel times. This enhanced connectivity is expected to attract more passengers, boosting tourism and business travel between these regions and this country. Some of the major destinations served by the A330neo include Melbourne, Australia, which was the first route to be operated by the A330neo, providing a comfortable and efficient journey. Next is a popular destination for leisure and business travelers, Auckland, New Zealand, served by the aircraft's long-range capabilities. A key European destination connected to Malaysia is London, UK. The aircraft also serves various destinations in Asia and the Middle East, providing seamless connectivity. Airbus also needs to ramp up production for another reason. Cathay Pacific, with its latest order for 30 a 33900 aircraft and options for 30 more, has given the plane maker some reason to be optimistic. Cathay is a leading airline brand that other airlines are looking to, and it plans to use the aircraft on the kind of heavy routes that Airbus had hoped for. 
Cathay Group CEO Ronald Lamb said Cathay is moving into a phase of modernization and growth, both in terms of scope and quality. The order for the state-of-the-art A330 is part of that. This significant investment not only demonstrates their confidence in Hong Kong's position as a leading international aviation hub, but also demonstrates the airline's commitment to driving the city's continued development. The A330 is an aircraft that has been flying with Cathay Pacific for nearly 30 years. The new aircraft will primarily serve regional destinations in Asia, with the flexibility to serve further afield when required. The improved fuel efficiency and high comfort standards of the A330neo will help the airline enhance the customer experience while contributing to its goal of net zero emissions by 2050. This latest order from Cathay, one of the world's most experienced A330 operators, is a significant vote of confidence in the new generation A330neo, said Christian Scherer, CEO of Airbus Commercial Aircraft. For Cathay, the A330neo will become the mainstay wide body for regional operations with the flexibility to serve longer haul routes. Together with the A320 and A350 family, the airline will be able to take full advantage of the unique combination of the latest Airbus product family. By adding the A330neo to its fleet, Cathay Pacific can modernize its fleet and replace older, less efficient aircraft. This helps the airline maintain its competitive edge and provide passengers with a more modern and enjoyable travel experience. Furthermore, Cathay Pacific's decision to invest in the A330neo fits into its long-term strategy of expanding its network and offering more competitive travel options. Its capabilities and efficiency make it a valuable asset to the airline's growth plans. As of the end of July, the A330 family had secured 1,805 firm orders from more than 130 customers worldwide. Some of the new orders for the A330neo this year have come from Virgin Atlantic, which has placed seven firm orders for the aircraft, and Vietnam's Vietjet Air, which has 20 A330-900. In addition, we cannot forget to mention the Taiwanese airline Starlux, which has ordered three NEO aircraft. Although the quantity is not too large, Airbus has received a firm order for a five A350F cargo aircraft from this airline. With this order, Starlux will become the first Taiwanese airline to operate the next generation A350F wide-body freighter. In an era of climate change, the A350F has unbeatable efficiency in terms of fuel burn, CO2 emissions, and economics, offering significant energy saving and carbon reduction benefits. It not only meets customer requirements for carbon reduction, but also aligns with Starlux's ESG plan to achieve zero emissions by 2050. Additionally, the three new A330 NEOs will strengthen our fleet advantage and provide greater flexibility for passenger operations, said Starlux CEO Glenn Chai. The airline operates an all Airbus passenger fleet of A350-900, A330-NEO, and A321-NEO. The A350-F will be operated by Starlux Cargo on some of the world's busiest cargo routes. Currently under development, the A350F can carry a payload of up to 111 tons and can fly up to 4,700 nautical miles, about 8,700 kilometers, at a significantly lower cost than any other freighter currently in operation. The aircraft will enable Starlux cargo to serve all heavy cargo markets worldwide. Equipped with the latest Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 engines, the aircraft will reduce fuel consumption and carbon emissions by up to 40% compared to the older 747F aircraft and be at least 20% more efficient than its competitors. The freighter features the largest main deck cargo door in the industry, with the fuselage length and capacity optimized around industry standard pallets and containers. More than 70% of the airframe is made of advanced materials, reducing the takeoff weight by 46 tons compared to competing products. The A350F is also the only freighter to fully comply with ICAO's enhanced carbon dioxide emission standards, which come into effect in 2027. Meanwhile, the additional order for the A330neo will help Starlux Airlines continue to build one of the most modern and efficient passenger fleets, offering the highest levels of in-flight comfort. The additional order will increase the airline's A330neo fleet from 4 to 7, with the aircraft featuring a premium second-class cabin with 28 business-class seats and 269 economy-class seats. Ultimately, the Airbus A330neo has proven to be a key asset for airlines around the world, combining cutting-edge technology, 
improved fuel efficiency, and superior passenger comfort. When leading airlines such as Malaysia Airlines, Cathay Pacific, and Starlux invest in the A330neo, they are not only modernizing their fleets, but also positioning themselves for future growth and sustainability. The aircraft's ability to serve multiple routes efficiently makes it a key player in the continued evolution of the aviation industry, ensuring that airlines can meet the demands of today while preparing for the challenges of tomorrow.